Okay, our drill today is going to be an addition also to what we've already been doing. Remember, we've been working on avoidance, we've been working on angle, we've been working on timing, we've been working on position of advantage, all of those different things. Now we're going to combine them all together in a little bit more fun of a drill. We're actually going to block a strike coming in and we're going to get our own strike in. Uh, but we're going to use these same positions that we did before. And each time that you see us do this, remember the first time what we did was just straight to the side, straight to the side, and then the second drill was up over to an angle and up over to an angle. Well, we're going to add on to that and we're going to even do it a little bit differently this time. But it's all still the same position of advantage. It's an area where we're in control of the timing, we're in control of the fight, and he's not, and that's what we want to maintain, right? We want to maintain control of the fight. So what we're going to do is we're going to learn to do a block and get out of the way. Now we're going to have Kevin help us again here tonight. And from here we're going to start off just like this. Sword's drawn. He's going to strike down, and as he strikes down, I'm going to step off to this position of advantage and block and come in for a cut. I'm going to take the head, right? One more time. From here he's going to come down. I'm going to step to the side and strike. Now, this block, what I don't want to see you do is when he starts to strike, and you'll see me emphasize this over and over again because a lot of people think this is like a baseball bat, and they're going to whack, knock something out. It ain't about that. It's about economy of motion. Economy of motion. Remember those words because you're going to hear them a lot. When he starts to strike, all I'm going to do is take my weapon. Go ahead and come down. I'm going to take my weapon to the shortest possible movement to get it out of the way, which is straight up and out. I don't want, when he's coming down, to smack my blade against his. That's going to chip my blade. It may break my sword. It's going to cause damage to my weapon, which was probably very expensive. Don't want that. I just want to deflect what he's got coming in. So when he starts to come down, I'm not trying to smack and bat him out of the way. All I want to do is come down. I want you to come down slowly all the way down to the point and just real slow, real slow. One more time. Now, as he's coming in, all I want to do is deflect that. See how my sword actually gives away? Keep coming down. Gives away so that it don't actually make hard contact, but it pushes it away so that it's not hitting me. Once I'm safe with where his blade is at, I'm going to come in. Let's do that one more time. Slow from the other side. As he starts to come in, I'm going to step up and deflect and come in. One more time, a little bit slower. As he starts to come in, I'm going to come up catch the contact, but as he keeps pushing, my blade's going to give in so that it's not force against force. I don't want to stop his weapon there. That ain't going to do me any good. He may slide that thing up and cut me or something. I don't want to stop it. I don't want force. I don't want to overpower him and show him who's the boss with my strong muscle technique, right? It ain't about that. It's about leverage. When he comes in, I'm going to come around my weapon gives. That's fine. That's what I want it to do because I want his to be in a position where I can get it. Position of advantage. I want the advantage. I want him dead and I want to survive. 